Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description. Please support me on Patreon if you can. That would really be great. We just did number three, weather observation number three. Also, I, yeah, I'm making this, by the way, I'm making this like study guide thing on, um, you know, my Patreon. So maybe if you want to check it out, it's pretty long, actually. Like I wrote a lot of stuff for this study guide. So there's like a lot to it. Technical interview study guide, but um, part one. So I'm working on those. I'm listing like questions and stuff. But um, okay, let's do this. Let N be the number of city entries and station. And n prime be the number of distinct city names in station. Query the value of n minus n prime from station. So n is the total number of entries in station, and then n prime is distinct. So if there's 10 total and 5 distinct, we just do 10 minus 5. In other words, find the difference between total number of city entries and the number of distinct. Okay, easy. So there's a built-in count function, guys, and we're going to use that here. Basically, what you do is select count city um, minus count. So that counts the number of city entries. So if we did select count city from station, right, that would give us the number, whole number of entries in station. But we actually want select count city minus count distinct city. That's exactly what they want. And you put distinct right in the count function. And then that's pretty much it. The count just is a built-in function. There you go. Perfect. 13. Um, and, you know, that's great. So the count is just a built-in function that counts. It's used for just, like, number queries, basically. You just count the number of entries, and then you could have, you know, uh, keywords like distinct to help you with that, too. From station, and that's it. Yep. So we're going to do number five now. Thank you for watching, and see you guys.